Hi guys, so I hope this video finds you well. Welcome to Jarvan for Triplets. So for this deck, uh, the, the concept of this deck is we are dropping multiple Jarvan for at burst speed with the effect of transposition. So how will we do the combo? So first, the first step is to drop a unit that is uh, higher cost than Jarvan. And in our deck, we have Galio or King Jarvan the third here. So you start the combo with that. And then after that, you activate Transposition. So for Transposition, its effect is its effect is recalling your higher your unit, and then you can summon uh, the next time you summon a unit, uh, the it, the unit will be zero cost. Okay, so you get the combo. Start with the, for example, King Jarvan, transposition that. After that, if you have three Jarvans on, three Jarvans on your hand, uh, and then you have also you have to consider that you need to have the attack token. So, if you return, if you transpose the higher cost unit and you have three zero cost Jarvan in hand, once you attack, all of your Jarvan force will be summoned into your field at burst speed because of its effect because uh effect of jarvan is you pay your cost you pay your cost to summon it and since it is zero cost you'll pay zero cost to summon it and that's a very in that's a very good combo because still uh even though you drop even if you drop the jarvan for at burst speed when you attack the units on your hand are still zero cost so that's a very good interaction with this with this card transposition but the combo is a little bit hard to pull off so you have to consider a lot of things like making sure that you'll be a lot you'll still be alive at turn possibly that the possibility the possible turn that you can do that is at turn eight so that's the thing that you have to consider you have to still be alive at turn eight before you pull off the combo and another thing is you need to draw three Jarvans. Three Jarvans to pull off the combo. And a last thing is uh and I think the last thing is you just have to make sure that you have enough mana. You have no in you need to have enough mana to do the combo. To do the trick shot. Okay? So that's all for the for the explanation. When it comes to the deck, uh we have a lot of draw. Not a lot, but all of the possible draw that we can use in this region combination. So we have Pokey Stick and Aloof Travelers. And King Jarvan that enables us to draw Jarvan Fort. So this is the most we can get for the draw in this region combination. So we just have to utilize it. Okay. So for the early game, you just have to stabilize. Make sure that your Petricide Broadwing can 2 for 1. And you remove units with poker stick, and you just have to make sure that you have a proper, proper trade than the opponent. And you can do that because you're in your deck. You have a lot of buff, and you have a lot of challengers. Where we were in, uh, these challengers can choose the units that they want to fight, that they want to battle. And and that's it for the for the. Uh, late game where you try to pull off the combo just do the steps that i told you to do in the earlier part of the video okay so that's all for that deck, ex deck explanation for multiple jarvans so see you again next time okay twisted fate so i think this is this will be a very easy match up for us we just need to remove Twisted Fate and then we're good. So we just we have, we have to keep single combat. A of Traveler will be bad because it gives him an additional draw. And we don't have the early unit in the deck. We drop the painted square. Help! But this is elite. Help! And we have the 
three tattered banner that will be useful in killing this. I think that's already a win for us. The only win condition of the deck looks like just the three to three. But let's try to poke that. This deck doesn't have protection, I think. Plan. So we're close to the combo. We're close to the combo. Just a little farther. One, two, three, four, five. Let's use this pattern turn. And then pass. One, two, three, four, five, seven. We can pass. Aloof Pokey Stick else? <laughs> Oh, let's I try news. Removing the force Thank you How many cards do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9. We're, we have to think about the mana. If we did have your next turn, it is 6 mana next. Look, a thing. Elf, that's not sure ours. So right. we discarded the Yorg. Nice action speaks for itself. I think we have to use our we have to use our guard but to tame our hand. I think that's fine. So let's poke the Kato please. So 
I will use single combat to kill the twisted pain. Okay. So now we're sure that we can kill twisted pain. Get it up the other pet beside brother. Next turn, it looks like a good value turn. Drop the Galio with a very wide board. So, Galio is 27 out of 25. And then we'll pass. Because we can flip Galio. to kill he wants to kill Galio wow now it's 22 so let's Pass for another turn. So we can transpose the. Uh, I'm always up for a round or two. Let's try single combat the distant fate. Ah no. I think this is fine. I'm a people person. So let's dance for the Galio for another effect. Wow, that's a very good combo. So we have to thin our hand to get the Galio. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It should be 7. When do we get to the punching? Let's combat the Twisted Fate. Okay, we'll get the Galio. We'll get the Galio in Go to... We have Galio. We still have Galio. So now we can drop Galio. And then Galio will flip at the end of the turn. I satisfaction. Okay, that's fine. I'm awake. What's this the magic about? 31 of 25. Wow, I'm close to going back out. I may be made of stone, but I'm more hard. So let's attack. 
we target this? Target this. Then we'll rally. Need clearance, pal. Not on my work site, Bob. on that case. the jar back. My king, I have failed you. Gather yourself, child, and speak. You dropped something. I dropped everything. The King Jarba. Let's attack with another one. So we'll target this. Target this. And then we'll finish it with the golden ages. So we'll finish with the golden ages. He wants to deck out. He wants me to deck out, but I have another rally. Okay, so we'll close out with, with this one. That's very close. We are down to three cards. We did not perform the combo. So that's unfortunate. Secure my people safe. Pale Moon playing Rumble Zion. So this is looks like a mecha you are dead. Transpo. Now we're just looking for the Jarba. I ran as fast as I could. So we can attack or we can pass. If we pass, we're threatening his uh, Draven. Let's pass. Virtually threatening his Draven with the Ren Protect. What's that? Oh, this. Very good. Bring their spirits and their swords. You hardly fail. Golden Ages. That's a lot of value. Of course, he will not attack with that. The next turn will just will open. But did he discard? Thunder Poro. Okay. Mm. 
Okay, so that's stop. I think that's fine. He's spending mana for that. That's fine. Down to ten. Jar The jar The maximum minimum of two jar for this. For this. For turn 8, I think. Turn 8 is the passive of turn we can drop the Jarvan. We'll take the damage here, or we can use single combat. We can use single combat. Let's turn up the heat. Working as intended. Okay. We block it. We block this and we block understand. this. Make way. Then we single combat this. Right. So we did not take any damage. Unless he goes for the. He did not take any damage to kill for us. But next turn, I think I'll block the King Jarb on the turn. Okay, the third banner, the King Jarvan the third. Take to the skies, take to the fields, right. find him. So we got two Jarvans. It's deep. It is purple. We can go transposition plus golden ages. If we drop Galio, then he drops Scion. Scion is not leveled up yet, unless ah, uh, let's let's just wait for him to do something. Let's let's wait for him. Let's pass. In a promo. The boss says you gotta start winning more, and he better start paying more. So how many? If we drop Galio, that will be three mana. If we drop a Luft Traveler, that will be one. Drop the galley. How long was I out for? Okay. Seventeen out of twenty. So unless the, the opponent has a lot of might can kill my king Jarvan. Okay. So we'll try to block Galio win. Of course, down So shiny, it's gotta be way strong. This is 20. We go for this. Or we go for this. Six. 
He can develop the might. I can take it. Four. Is it fine to be down to four? Or we can do battle. We have to be down to six. I can take it. Do battle. I'll be down to 5 if he has might. Okay, he doesn't have might. Let's start with uh, Petricide Broadwing and then Transposition. If we go Aloof Traveler and then Transposition afterwards, we still have mana for Golden Ages. Will the two mana matter? Will the two ma remaining mana matter with the side broadly? Okay, let's proceed with the side broadly. Two pairs of wings are better than one. Hey, so no response, transposition. I need two cards to stop this. And then now we can drop the Jarvan. Can do this. Two Jarvans only. That's a little bit sad. So let's try to kill that. If we do this, I think this is fine because we still have mana for Galio plus Golden Aegis. Okay, this is fine. If he was, if he did not kill the the King Jarvan the third a while ago, we easily get three Jarvans in this in this turn. So we can go for Tattered Banner plus Galio. Let's do that. So Tattered Banner. Then Galio. I'm awake. Must be some magic about. And then we can Golden Eagles. So we'll kill the GG. Okay, that's very good. Very good. Fine work, soldiers. Fine work. <laughs> 